he basically said it all. What uh, started me in the boxing is um is uh peer pressure. I mean peer pressure. Everybody know what peer pressure is? Yes. No. You know, I didn't want to do what everybody else did. I didn't want to sell drugs. I, I didn't want to do a lot of things. So boxing attracted me, so I worked towards that. Uh let me ask you one question. How many how many kids in here know why young men fight all the time? You know why they fight all the time? They have anger issues. Huh? Anger issues. Yeah, that's a good one. Anybody else? Short temper. Right. Now you know why they? Anybody else? Short temper. You know why they fight all the time? Because they don't know how. Once they learn how to fight, and they know they can hurt somebody, that's when they refrain from fighting. See, boxing is not a barbaric sport. It's a discipline sport, and it's like playing chess. You know, once you learn your craft very well. And you know you could hurt the man next to you, you wouldn't want to. And if you do, something's wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some of the stuff that, that we use, some of the projects use. These are the gloves that we train in. All right? This is called mist. This is what the trainers did. A mouthpiece, always. My special gadget. <laughs> <laughs> I made these up. These are for eye coordination. You hit, you got to hit. No matter what, you got to duck, you got to hit. For speed and coordination. Everywhere it goes, you got to duck it, you got to duck it, and you got to be able to hit it. Eric was real good with this one, too. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> you get hit a lot when you start. <laughs> yeah, if, it's, if there's any questions you want to ask, come on now. Go ahead. Did you um, go to the LA boxing one day? Yeah. Oh, because I was there and I found it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my LA boxer when I'm a Yeah. Yeah, I was there. I used to go there. And okay. So are you doing personal training? Like somebody can sign up and you Yeah, do I do personal training. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's um that's the thing. Though. You gotta be dedicated. You see the thing with boxing is dedication. When I grew up, if you didn't train, you got beat up in the ring. So if you train hard to the one you didn't get beat up, and if you did got if you if you got beat up, you didn't look bad getting beat up. So as a person, if you're gonna come train with me, you gotta be dedicated. If you're not dedicated, I'm real tough, you know, because I don't like losing. If we lose, I lost. So not only you, I lost too. So if you want to if you want to train, be serious about it. I'm hard headed. <laughs> so you only train for like to compete, not just. No, for conditioning. Okay. For conditioning. It's not a barbaric sport. It's 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 more of a mental sport, mm -hmm. you know, and a conditioning sport. If you want to lose weight, you go to boxing. If you want to learn how to defend yourself, you go to boxing. If you want to learn how just to be relaxed and calm, bring your blood pressure down, whatever you got, you go to boxing. You know, it's a hard, it's a tough sport. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Where is it located? Uh, <laughs> is it like I'm right in the building. <laughs> yeah, I work here. So you got to pay for private? Yeah, well, I, I, this is for my business on the outside. And when I get finished, my daughter's going to take over. That's why she's fighting Golden Gloves now. She's learning the craft real well. So uh, when, she, when I retire, she'll take over. Yeah, go ahead. Which is the one to fight? I tell her well, I, I really don't want to get into that, but Pacquiao, Pacquiao is a much better fighter. Uh, it's because um, Marquez stayed out too long. He's been retired for two years, yeah. and Pacquiao has been in season. So it's a mental game. It's like playing chess. Anybody know how to play chess? So you know that you got to outmove, outthink the, other, the next man, you know, next to you. Boxing is the same thing. You got to predict his movement. You got to, you got to like almost picture what he's going to do and counterattack. Yeah. Mr. Dixon, in a lot of sports now, people use video analysis to break down their mechanics. Do you guys um, at your gym try to do that, where you watch video of your boxer and say, look, here's what you did right, here's what you did wrong? That's a good question. Amateur level, no. When we go to pro level, you got to put the films in, because you gotta, we got to get the structure of the next guy. we got to see what's, what's his weakness, where's, the, where's his faults at, and how can we counterattack it, you know, like with Eric. You know, a couple of, his, couple of his fights, we had to sit down, we had to break down the films and do our, do our homework. And he wasn't 
Some of them he was successful in, but the ones that he lost, he put a hell of a show on. You know, because we knew the guy back and forth. Fair enough. Can you um, put on some demonstration here today with either Eric or Raymond, just so the um, students can learn about some of the drills you do? You can do it. Now while they're getting, can't do it on this. I'm not hitting hard. While they're getting going, um, I'll just tell you I went to watch Eric fight a match um, at Mohegan Sun. There were six thousand people there. It was a wild atmosphere. 8,000 8, 8, people. It was a wild atmosphere, i got to tell you. It was crazy. And I've known Eric since he was in sixth grade, so for me it was kind of tough to watch, you know. I was nervous, frankly. Um, and I didn't know anyone there, so I was sitting by myself watching this fight, and I felt like, wow, you know, I hope it goes well. And it was really impressive, I mean, just to watch him battle in the ring with, with these trained boxers and, and fighters. Uh, that one I lost, but we won fight of the night. It was against the kid who was the former champ uh, of the and league, the, and he's, he's a champ, champ now. now. But like he was saying before with the video, we watched video every single day on this guy. And when we got in the cage, he did the exact same stuff, and it helped so much. So that video analysis that Coach was talking about makes a big difference. Because people have the same tendencies all the time. So I knew he was going to come out right away throwing a big right hand, and I was ready for that, and he did. And I was able to counter, and we did fine off of it. And see, pro level, from amateur, amateur, you weigh, you weigh in the same day that you fight. Yeah. Pro level, you weigh in the day before you fight, so you got time to put 15 to 20 pounds on in one day. So if you weighed in at 145, you could come in the ring weighing 160. Yeah. Or whatever you want. So my last fight, I weighed in at 153, because it was a 155 weight class. I weighed 166 the next day when I actually fought. And the guy you fought weighed about 178. Yeah, <laughs> he was a little bigger. But next fight, I'm actually going down to 145. I'm going to a new weight class. So that's going to be nice and fun cutting down 145. <laughs> so these are the mitts, like you're saying, the focus mitts. These are more for, because he's starting to teach me how to train people now, too. These are more for speed and accuracy. You're not going to be hitting hard on these things. Okay? But this is something that you do almost every single day when you're training for a fight. So, so we're just going to go through the basics. Yeah. Jab. Jab. Double jab. I'm not on it, I get hit. Right up. <laughs> <laughs> left uppercut. Left uppercut. Come back with a hook. Come back with the right hand. Come back with a hook. So one more time. My fork. See? Let's move this up. Good. Right hand. Hook. Uppercut. Hook. One more time. You want the body punch a lot? Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. That's what it's for. Power. You don't want to get by that.